Hello, YouTube, you lions. We're coming for to you from the old shop again. And I figured out where to put my old 428 double turbo something or other super duper engine. We'll put it in here. That's one of my old Mustang Torino scoop thingies that I've got. It's not going on this car. Thank the Lord. But anyway, been doing a little clean up here. Got some etch primer stuff there everybody uses. And uh, the dash has changed sizes and colors. And I'll show you what I've been doing. What little I've been doing, by the way. Here is the wooden dash thingy on oh, Mr. Harold. Is this big? No, this is... Yeah, it's big. Anyway, I hope I can show it all. There it is. I got it dug out in all of its wonderfulness. And I worked on the gauge a little bit, knocked a bunch of rust off of it. It needs a little bit more cleaning up which it will get, but the reason I got this dug out is uh, Buck's Wood Shop. I begged him and pleaded him and he said he would make me another one of these things. So, he's waiting on it and uh, it's all going to be a lovely thing. Here is, this is where the ashtray slash radio, whatever, goes. But I'm wanting to cram three gauges in it. Like and so. And uh, Olivia, alleviate these here, goobers. Just want it flat there, just with the speedometer. And uh, that's what I'm thinking. And of course, the controls there, which they're uh, countersunk. And here's the backing plate. Backwards. Here's the backing plate that goes backing on it. But I was thinking of just not having it countersinked if the controls are reached. And just having it just a regular old hole there. Wouldn't that be a lot slimpler? I think so. So, I don't know. I'll get this packaged up and sent your way. Whether you like it or not, you're getting it. Uh, let's see. Anything else exciting today? Uh, as of, uh, oh. I've been applying some paint remover to these little bad boys. They've been every color with the color they're going to be. And uh, at the end of it, uh, I've been doing it like they raise hogs in China. They raise them on a little tier. They put the little pig in the bottom and a medium pig in the middle and another pig on top of that in different cages but stacked up and the finished pig on top and he gets all the good food because he's going to be killed first and what he don't eat goes to the next one and what he don't eat goes to the next one goes to the next one anyway I've been putting stripper on the top one I've, I've done all of them but I've stacked them up to uh, conserve stripper Oh, and by the way, Stripper eats them little red cups really, really good. Anyway, uh, that's what I've been doing. And uh, tomorrow's going to be a warm day. And then we're going to get like a tremendous Ben-Hur, Ten Commandment, bad storm again. With ice and killer things and and uh, murderous 
winds and it'll just be terrible, terrible. So we'll have to endure that Wednesday. Okay, wipe the snot off my nose. Snot nose kid. How do we now see? This is where I need some help. I need help everywhere. But I wonder if I'd look better like this. I'd look a lot better. Uh, anyway, I love y'all. And uh, y'all be careful. And, uh, you know, I don't know, just be good. That's all I'm going to say. Be gooder than me. And, uh, okay, bye-bye.